Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go over to... where should we go? Where should we go? Oh my goodness! Roulette time! It's gonna be... the Rock Club. Okay, I, I planned on going to the Rock Club here all along. <laughs> so, the Rock Club. There's a rock symbol. We're gonna be battling some fighting Pokémon. Greetings, welcome to the Rock Club. This club is for members to use rock Pokemon cards. Rock Pokemon are defensive and take very little damage. So yeah, that's the idea. The reason why I'm coming here next is because I was able to rebalance my deck to have no lightning Pokemon, so they shouldn't have any issue. Well, I should say my whole deck shouldn't have any issue all that uh, much here. So there's this guy hanging out over here. Let's talk to him. I'm training here at the Rock Club. Mitch told me to defeat you before you duel the members here. We do like the little crystal. Here it is! The last member of the fighting club! Write it down! Write it down! Grass, fire, and rock places have the three fighting club members. Because I'm gonna go to these guys last. Got it? Good. I'm going to be moving soon to a faraway place. I'm not sad. I'll make new friends dueling with Pokemon cards. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Did you hear? It's the talk of the town that Ishihara wishes to trade a very rare card. Maybe I'll visit him myself. That's the Surfy Pikachu last part. Gee, I lost. Matthew's really good. I'll probably inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. This guy right here is Matthew, and he's a part of the Rock Club. So I, w I think I'm gonna duel him. How's that sound? Hi, Matthew. I'm a member of the Rock Club. I just finished a duel. I won, of course. Why well, don't you a boastful guy? Just like Ron. <laughs> legendary cards will belong to me. How about it? Would you like to duel me? You can bet. Okay, same as last time. Last time? I didn't duel you before. I mean, I dueled you on other playthroughs, but this is the first time I've dueled you this playthrough, so technically we never met! Let's not question it. <laughs> so he's got the hard Pokémon deck. By hard Pokémon deck, I mean he's got, you know, a bunch of rock Pokémon. <laughs> Roll rock ground type Pokémon. But anyway, let's put up the Magmar and stall it all, because again, I only got one basic Pokemon for some reason. It's it's weird, but at least I'm going first. What do I get? What do I get? It's Charmeleon. Hmm. Energy removal can help stall out. So he's got Cubone, Geodude, and Rhyhorn. So yeah, the, the fighting type Pokemon at here at the Rock Club are it's, it's sort of like the quote unquote science Pokemon, uh, in that they have different traits compared to fighting Pokemon, and that their weakness is grass and their resistance is lightning. And the uh, weakness of fighting Pokémon are Psychic, and the resistances are typically nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to... I suppose... <laughs> Attack with Smokescreen! <laughs> there really isn't much I can do. I mean, he's gonna do Snivel on the next turn, which is more likely than not going to prevent me from doing damage. Unless I am able to poison him, so that's gonna be a luck-based thing, unfortunately. Uh, unless he's not going to do a Snivel, but we'll see. Uh, Snivel. Yep, I figured. Oh, it's always on its unsuccessful, so that's good. Okay, let's get Machop ready and raring to go. And I suppose I'll hope for a KO with Smog. Oh, poopers! <laughs> Oh, it's okay. We'll make it through this together. <laughs> so, uh-huh. I'm just gonna keep doing those fake tears there. And I'm gonna hope to do a poison on you. How's that sound? I'm gonna get a match up ready. And... Smog. Come on, poison, poison, poison! Oh! <laughs> if I would have poison it, I think that would have worked. Because, wait. Does it receive effects when it does Snivel? I forgot. I think it just reduces damage. Uh, I forgot. Oh, Defender. Well, that's gonna be like double protection for that Cubone. Urgh. I'm tempted to energy remove that sucker. But let's see the Snivel. Um, any... Yeah, just damage. It doesn't say anything about that. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, I'm probably better off saving energy removal, actually, for something else. Hmm. I'm thinking Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn's more threatening than Onyx, even though Onyx stalls a lot. Uh, I'm gonna hope to get a Charmeleon going here, because that will be pretty devastating for him. Poison? No! 
such bad luck. Never before have I had such bad luck. No, I've had worse luck before. I believe I've gotten all Tails coin flips on the, the eight coins that you have to flip for that special Game Boy Nine Tails, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's that's really bad luck. <laughs> anyway, yes, finally. I knew it had to happen eventually. And then it'll do 10 damage to the poison. That's what I was going for. Snivel won't prevent effect damage. I mean, uh, status damage, excuse me. Alright, and hopefully I'll be able to poison that Onyx, because all it's going to be doing is scratch damage, and poison will really, <laughs> really give it some trouble, because it won't be able to switch very easily. It's, it's got a retreat cost of 3. So, yeah. Let's get a bill going here. And, oh, two energy removal in this hand. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's like the game wants me to win this battle. <laughs> All right, there we go. And yeah, I've got a pretty decent deck going on now here. I am pleased with how this is turning out. I would like to have another uh, Charmeleon, you know, so, so I could get uh, a Charizard going. Uh, guess Charizard's kind of good for the resistance to fighting Pokemon and whatnot. That's my when my deck is kind of uh, lacking, because fighting Pokemon are like some of the best kinds of Pokemon in this game. So yeah, but we'll see how things go. It's it's not necessary to play Charizard or anything like that. In fact, a lot of people don't like Charizard because it uses a lot of energy cards, but I like its sweeping potential. Um, yeah, I'll do that, I suppose, and continue to smog. I suppose. <laughs> Boop. And there we go. And a little more damage between turns. Let's see what you got there. <laughs> just, just, just stalling me out, are ya? Hmm. Okay, let's get this on Charmeleon. And I don't have a growl with, do I? No. Uh, Gust of Wind could be handy for the future, but for now, let's smog. Because he has no energy. So this is looking very good for me. At least for that Onyx that's going to go down next turn. And powering up Rhyhorn could mean that a horn attack is on its way. Which makes me kind of wonder if I should have saved the energy removal, but we'll see. <laughs> maybe. Hopefully. Kind of, maybe. Alright. I'll take a prize. That sounds good. Few bones up. Raring to go! Well, maybe not. It still needs energy. Oh, it's got energy. Dang it! <laughs> oh, for Snivel. The same, same situation. All over again, of course. Why would it be any better for me? <laughs> um, let's see. I'll go for an Arcanine 2. How does that sound? Uh, well, blah, blah. Next turn. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of being a little hasty here. No poison, of course. Ah, of course! It's gonna use Rage now. Ah, of course! <laughs> but at least it won't be using Snivel, that's, that's, a, that's a nice thing. Uh, hold on a sec. I wonder if I should go for a, um... Professor Oak. You know, rather than holding on to the Gust of Wind, because I get more use out of a Professor Oak than Gust of Wind here, because I'm, I'm... I'm really putting the pressure on here. So yeah, I'm gonna keep with this momentum and keep my hand stacked with usable cards, hopefully. Uh, super energy removal, that could be nice. Uh, maybe I'll use that, actually, on that monstrosity. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do it on Charmeleon's energy. There we go. And Smog. That way, next turn, it'll be on only able to use Snivel at the very best. Uh, but chances are he's gonna want to switch, just in case of, of the failure of Snivel. Oh, he didn't switch, wow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get the power-ups going continually. And Smog. Take me down to one prize card for this game. This game has been kind of long, hasn't it? <laughs> and another cubo just probably gonna stall me out for the remainder of this video. <laughs> Uh, Rage Attack. Uh, wait, hold on a sec. Do I have two plus powers? Plus power, plus power. 
Oh, looks like I win. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Doesn't it, huh? I'm gonna do small, I'm gonna do 40 damage. Oh, I got the poison now, sure. When I don't need the poison. <laughs> it's just how the game goes sometimes. It taunts you with the coin flips. Taunts you, I tell you. <laughs> And let's see. Oh, another fossil Zapdos. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Did I ever show Kabuto before? I might have. Uh, it prevents quite a bit of damage, actually. So that 30 HP goes quite a long way, actually. Uh, especially does, especially since it does round it down to the nearest 10, so you could stall out with stuff like energy removal. Uh, two Pokemon that can only do 10 damage attacks. So yeah, Kabuto's not too bad. Uh, at least for the stalling purposes. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, much of duplicates. And, ooh, another fossil Mew! Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh double colorless energy! <laughs> My deck is just getting more and more powerful, I should say, having more power potential. And, there we go, we're good. Sure you will. Okay, let's modify the deck before I end off the part here. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is maybe up my Eradicate Arsenal, even though I only have two Rotatas, just a thing of that I'd like to have a higher chance of drawing um, the Eradicate. And I think what I'm gonna do here is go for uh, that Chansey that I took out before because I'm getting so many double colorless energy now. So yeah, I'm gonna take that out, take that out, I mean put that in, take that out. And now for the colorless Pokemon, I think I might decide... I don't know, Kangaskhan's kind of serving me well lately. I don't have enough Eevees to really make the EV Evolutions type deck yet. Uh, it's kind of funny, I got two Dragonites, three Dratinis, but no Dragonairs. <laughs> By the way, uh, Porygon is the only card I never was able to collect in real life uh, from the base set. I got every other card from the a base set, jungle, and fossil set, ex except for Porygon. What a shame! <laughs> and it's such a kind of bad card, too, so... It's kind of funny that I wouldn't get a card like this, but... I just wanted it to cl complete my set, but I never got one. Maybe I'll order it from, like, Amazon or something like that. Just for the sake of saying, yeah, I got all the cards! Yeah, look at me now! And, you know, brag to no one ever. <laughs> No one plays this format anymore, really. Oh, I gotta take out two cards, though. Um, what should I take out? Maybe I should go for... One of the trainer cards. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got so many good cards now, it's difficult to take stuff out, and that's kind of a good sign. Um... Na -na 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 -na. Maybe I'll have to... Um ditch either Chansey or Kangaskhan. Eh, I'll drop Chansey, I guess, again. I know, I know, I just put it back in there, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I'll go and drop... No, you know, I, I need my Fightings. Well, well, actually, hold on. Maybe I'll drop one Machop. No, I, hmm. Because I'd like to have a, a decent balance of uh, Haymaker Pokemon, you know, Beatdown Pokemon, whatever you want to call them. I don't want to drop the Magmars. Ah, I'm just jumping from menu to menu. I'm getting nowhere, aren't I? How about... How about... Uh, Gust of Wind. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go explore that part of the Rock Club. Sound good? Good.